If you've been struggling to save money, this video is for you. I used to be terrible with money. Every single time I went out, I used to spend at least $100. And by the end of the year, I had no savings and I was in credit card debt. So I made a complete change. And last year I was able to save over $15,000. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, how much I saved per week, per month, per year, and how you can too. All right, let's start out with lifestyle savings tips. And the things that I'm gonna cover here almost saved me $100 per week. And by the way, Tip number four alone saved me around $50 per week. So let's dive in. Number one, the first money waster wasn't just making me poorer, but it was honestly making me feel quite guilty. I wasn't using my gym, Peloton, or ClassPass memberships, so I finally canceled them and ended up saving $50 per week. And now I just do free YouTube workouts and go run outside. And number two, I deleted all of my shopping apps. Yes, even Amazon, because let's be real, it is way too easy to click on that buy now button. This has saved me over $20 a week just from impulse purchases that I didn't need anyway. I also delete Instagram and TikTok during the week so I don't get influenced to buy things that I don't need because I swear half of the content that I see on there now is people selling things and being like skincare, skincare. Anyways, number three, I used to spend over $50 a week on gas, but since I started using the free Upside app, I've earned an average of 15 cents per gallon cash back into my pocket. And that equals around $2.50 per week. And that's real cash. Cash. I know that it may not seem like a lot, but you should be earning cash back into your bank account whenever you can. And if you're new to Upside, learn more in this video. Number four, even though this is a personal choice, this puts at least $45 per week back into my pocket or bank account and it's alcohol, okay? So although I was never really a big drinker, a lot of us who are over 21 know that cocktails and even well drinks these days are ridiculously priced. After tipping, I end up spending at least $30 on just a couple of drinks. And if I have three drinks per weekend, that's around $45, not including the occasional beer or glass of wine at a restaurant. So when I do go out with friends or want drinks with dinner, I always take advantage of one of the upside offers for either restaurants or bars. And one of my favorite places to get dinner and drinks here in New York usually offer 11% cash back in the upside app. Okay. And then I'm going to give you a hot tip on how to make even more money back. I always offer to put my card down and pay for friends tabs when we go out and then I just Venmo request them because that way I can earn up to $10 cash back from Upside, which is like a whole other drink. So if you go out once a week, you earn $10 every week. I mean, that adds up. If you have not downloaded the Upside app yet, you can get an extra 10% cash back on your first restaurant with the code YouTube10. Okay, so you might already use some of these food savings hacks, but the third and fourth tips are honestly the least common ones that I think most people don't even know how to use and just don't know about. So number one, to start, I stopped buying coffee every day. It cost me an average of $6 a day, including tip. And buying coffee every day used to cost me at least $30 per week. And a bag of coffee costs around $12. I mean, this one from Trader Joe's was like way less than that. And this bag lasts an entire month. So if I'm drinking coffee every day, buying this bag only costs me $3 per week. And that means I save $27 every single week. And if I want the convenience of buying coffee, I just use literally instant coffee. Like it's, I think it's great. <laughs> but if you're out and you have to buy coffee out, I always look inside the Upside app because here in New York, you can get Dunkin Donuts offers and Starbucks. I go through all 42 things that I'm not buying anymore in this video, so definitely go check it out. Number two in food savings, I also make my own lunch and bring it to work three or four times per week or have lunch at home when I'm working remotely. So I spend around $15 per week on groceries to make lunch compared to $10 a day for pre-made food at a cafe or a coffee shop. And that is $35 per week back in my bank account. Number three, I do go out to eat lunch once or twice a week because you know, it's Friday and you can't cook every single day. So when I do go out to lunch, of course, I always choose a restaurant in the Upside app. They have coffee shops, cafes, like tons of restaurants. And a lot of people don't know this, but I usually get 10 to 20% cash back at any of my meals when I use the Upside app. And I show you exactly how much you can make eating out in this video where I earned almost $250 just from eating out with the Upside app. By the way, I do the exact same thing with my groceries. I do most of my shopping in stores that are listed inside the Upside upside app whenever I can. And usually I earn an average of 12% cash back at grocery stores. And so this gives me back $10 per week. That means between my upside purchases, I'm saving over $15 per week on average. And that equals $60 per month. And by the way, I am going to calculate my exact total monthly and yearly savings at the end of this video. So definitely stick around because everything that I'm sharing is not a joke. This is real and it works. Okay. Number four, I always bring my own water bottle everywhere I go. And yes, I 
also saved $40 by not buying the Stanley cup during that craze last year because I already have so many cups. Plus when I bring my water bottle, I don't have to buy individual cans or drinks or bottles or sodas or really anything because I have my own water and it plus is a little bit healthier. This has saved me over $20 per week. And not to mention, you know, having a bottle is so much better than single use plastic. So, you know, win, win, win. Okay, this last category is a real kicker and I have saved hundreds of dollars per year on these categories. So, okay, number one, I stopped buying new clothes. And what I mean by this is I only buy secondhand clothing online or in person at consignment shops. There are so many pre-loved clothing that are just as good, if not better personally, than all the new things that are trendy and coming out. And I go into exactly where I shop in this video, but just know that I saved over $500 last year compared to what I spent the year before. So when you tally up, like, you know, buying clothes on a regular basis, I saved over $10 per week just from shopping secondhand. Okay, and some of you might hate me for this, but I don't buy workout clothes anymore. Workout sets, like the matching top and bottom, are over $100. And I still use my workout gear from over 15 years ago because the material that they make workout clothes out of is really built to last. Like it's such durable material. Like you aren't supposed to buy new workout clothes every single year or every season, you know? Plus you're just gonna sweat in it. Okay, number two, I stopped buying unnecessary home items like random candles, random skincare, like lights, like cool little lights that they sell me online. I know they may be small, but they do add up. And by the end of the month, by not buying any of these things anymore, it saved me an equivalent about $5 per week. Okay, are you ready for this last one? Number three. It turns out that having no spend days every single week and some weekends has totally transformed my finances. Instead of going out on these no spend weekends, I have friends over and we do a potluck dinner and do a game night. This has made such a big difference friends in my life and it's actually turned me into a more intentional spender overall. Like I used to get a little dopamine rush just from spending money, but now I get dopamine rush from hosting people and not spending money because I see how much I'm saving. So for me, when I do this, I'm saving at least $60 per week, if not more. And this is just like covering going out, drinks, Ubers, all the things that you just end up spending money on. And you guys, drum roll please, here's how much all of these things that I said in this video add up to in terms of savings every week and every year. Between these lifestyle changes, food, unnecessary purchases, I'm saving an average of $300.50 every week. That's $43 a day, and that adds up to $15,730 per year. And I put 10,000 of that into a high yield savings account where I earn over 4% in interest, and that gives me over $400 bonus on top of what I already saved. And like literally, I don't get gas, groceries, or eat out, unless I'm using Upside, because you know, I'm frugal and I I want to save more money and this is how you do it. You have to have you know these systems in place and draw some boundaries on what you're gonna spend on and what you're not gonna spend on. At the end of the year, you're gonna look at yourself you're gonna be so proud that you saved all this money. You can do it because I did it, okay? Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.